안녕하세요, 여러분. 반가워요. Welcome, everyone. Can you guys hear me okay? I can see a few people uh, in the live chat. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for coming. I see a few um, familiar usernames. Thank you, guys, uh, for joining again. I hope you have been keeping up with your Korean study. So let me let me know, guys, if you can hear me. Ah, uh, we Jinny, 안녕하세요. Thomas, 님 안녕하세요. Abby, 님 안녕하세요. Ah, uh, Katie, Tata, Yo, 님 Talia, 님 안녕하세요. Eris, 님 Mel, 님 Dipti, 님. Okay, you guys can hear me well. Okay, very good. Chuayo, thank you so much for joining the class, guys. Mm. 안녕하세요. 어, 탈리아님, 기분이 좋아져요. 울어도 될까요? 어, she's asking permission if she could cry. <웃음> 어, 케이디 타타요님, 탈리아님, 울어도 될까요? 네, sure, of course, go ahead. <웃음> 울어도 돼요. 예, 오케이, 여러분. 그러면 오늘, 음, 오늘 그 듣기, listening practice를 시작해 볼게요. So I brought materials for beginner, and high beginner and intermediate level. Mm, it shouldn't be, the beginner level shouldn't be too difficult and high beginner level a little bit. Mm, the conversation does get longer and for intermediate level, there are many like new advanced words, mm, advanced but common, commonly used words and the sentences get a lot longer. So uh, let's, let's see how it goes, guys. Okay, 그러면은 let's start from the beginner level, the beginner level um, listening practice. So I have from one to ten questions, and by the time by the time we get to number ten, we're gonna have a short speaking practice. So I'm gonna say speak something in Korean, and you can you guys can respond um, what you wanna respond uh, in Korean. Okay. So let's try. Let's try, guys. So let's start from number one. So for number one and two, you can select the most natural response. And I will be repeating all the sentence twice. Okay, guys, twice. Mm, I'll repeat the sentence twice. Okay, so let's start number one. Number one. 고맙습니다. 고맙습니다. Okay, so what would be the most natural response for that, guys? 환영해요? Is it 환영해요? Or 아니에요? Or 미안해요? Or 괜찮아요? So what would be the correct response? So what the speaker said was 고맙습니다, right? 고맙습니다. I, I'm going to try using green. green. 고맙습니다. 고맙습니다, which means thank you, right? Thank you. So, mm, we should be selecting the most natural answer for thank you. And that would be your welcome in English, right? So, what would be the equivalent expression of your welcome? In English, uh, we do not have the, you know, equivalent of your welcome. We just say 아니에요, 아니에요, which means, you know, it's not. Mm, literally means it's not. It's ani. Ani means not, right? So uh, it's like saying, oh no, it's nothing. You know, don't mention it. Ani ani And other responses that you could say are ne 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 could sound slightly less polite compared to ani but I use this a lot. Ne ne ani or I say ne ani Both of them. Ne mm, ani so, ne is basically you're accepting somebody's gratitude. So, I don't necessarily see that as impolite, but anyways. Or you can say something like this too. 결말씀을요. 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 여기서, to break this down, 별 means like special. 말씀 is an honorific of 말, which means speech word speech or word what you say or bar sim so basically so literally it's like saying oh that's such a special 
Oops. Oh, that's a special word. So it's like saying, oh, that's such a special thing to say. You don't have to say that. Oh, you don't have to mention it. 별 말씀을 요, 별 말씀을 요. 그리고 케이트 타타르님, 아 멀려, 멀려도 말해도 돼요. 멀려에서 케이트와 아 멀려, 멀려, 멀려. 근데 uh, these three are the most common. 아니에요. 네, 별 말씀을 요. 그리고 let's look at the other choices, guys. 환영해요, 환영해요, 환영해요 means welcome. And it's different from your welcome, which is a response to thank you in English. 환영해요 is used when you are welcoming someone to your home, to your restaurant, to, I don't know, some kind of place. 환영해요, welcome. So I can, tell, I can say to you guys, 환영합니다, 환영해요, like welcome to class. Mm. Welcome to coming into this class. Welcome to class. And 미안해요, 미안해요 would be, I'm sorry. 미안해요, 미안해요, and you can pronounce it like this. 미안해요, 미안해요, 미안해요. 그리고 괜찮아요, 괜찮아요. This would be pronounced like 괜찮아요, 괜찮아요, which means it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So if you are at a beginner level, you can just memorize all these four. Uh, sentences, these four phrases, as a fixed expression that you can use. Mm. If you want to say I'm sorry, you can always say 미안해요. Oh, and this one too. If you want to say thank you, you can say 고맙습니다. Mm. So you can memorize them as fixed expression. And let's move on to number two as well. Mm. 2번으로 갈게요. 2번, number two. Mm. 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 계세요. 오프스. So what would be the most natural response? 그렇죠. 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요가 맞아요. So guys, what would 안녕히 가세요 mean? Ah, uh, sorry. 안녕히 계세요 mean? The speaker said, 안녕히 계세요, right? 안녕히 계세요, 안녕히 계세요. So, 안녕히 계세요 means bye, goodbye. It's used uh, when you're parting. And 안녕히 가세요 also means bye, also means bye. And they're polite way to say bye. And the difference between 안녕히 계세요 and 안녕히 가세요 would be that 계세요 is used for somebody that's staying. So you are the one who's leaving and the other person is staying because 계시다 here, the verb 계시다 means to stay. This is an honorific verb that means to stay. So this is 있다's honorific. 계시다. 그리고 가다. 가다 means to go. 가다 means to go. So Literally, this person, uh, when you say 안녕히 가세요, it means to go 안녕히 peacefully, safely, soundly. So, peacefully go 가세요. So, you say this to someone who's leaving. Mm. Leaving. Mm. So, the most appropriate answer to 안녕히 계세요, 안녕히 계세요, bye, would be another bye. <laughs> 안녕히 가세요, 안녕히 가세요. And 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. If you are a learner of Korean, this is something that you must know, right? 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요 means hi. Hi, it's a polite way to say hi. Hello, it's a common greeting, the most common greeting. And 감사합니다 is another word for 고맙습니다, 고맙습니다. So you can just interchangeably use them. Mm, 감사합니다. Whether you use 감사합니다 or 고맙습니다, they both mean thank you. Thank you. It's just that 감사합니다 is a Sino-Korean word. 감사 is a Sino-Korean word. And 고맙습니다 is a pure Korean word. And 어서오세요. 어서오세요. 아이고, 뭐야. 어서오세요. 어서오세요 means welcome as well. So you use this, um, it, it is mostly used by someone who is the owner 
uh, of, a, of a place. So you say this to your guests, to your customers who are visit, visiting your place. So when you're at a restaurant, when you go into the restaurant, the owner or the waitresses or waiters will most likely say, "Oh, The first thing they say upon seeing you, a customer, would be, "Oh, Literally meaning, quickly come in. It doesn't, uh, when you say this, it, uh, that person is not hastening you to come in quickly, but that's what it means, literally. Mm. So quickly come in, quickly come in. Welcome, welcome to this place. Mm. Okay, 좋아요. 그 다음에, let's move on to number three. Mm. Number three, 가볼게요. Number three as well, we, we should be choosing the one that's the most natural response to this sentence. So, let's start. Jisoo 씨는 한국인이에요? Jisoo 씨는 한국인이에요? Oh, Owen 씨가 좀 빨랐네요. Owen 씨는 3번이라고 했고요. 3번이 맞습니다. 어, 여러분, 많은 분들도 3번이라고 했어요. Uh, the rest of you guys said number three. Okay, so this group said you guys heard it correctly. Uh, the question was, the question was, 지수 씨는, 지수 씨는, 지수 씨, 지수, uh, Miss 지수, 한국인, 한국인, Korean person, 이에요. 이에요 is a verb that comes from 이다, which basically you can think of them as equal verb, equal. Something equals something else. Somebody equals something. In that case, in that sentence, you can use this verb, 이다. Why is it black? Why is it highlighted black? Oh, 이다. Mm. So, 지수 씨 is Korean. It's a question. It's a question. So, you can say, 네, yes, yes, uh, 한국인이에요. She is 한국인. She is 한국인. So number three would be the correct answer. And number one, number one, 네, 한국인이 있어요. What would this mean, guys? What would this mean? Mm. 한국인이 있어요. 한국인이 있어요. So this is probably one of the most common questions that I get a lot from beginner learners. The difference between 이다 and 이다. 다 guys 이다 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 you can basically think of them as equal verb something is something someone is something so uh, they are conjugated either 이에요 or 에요 right and you mark this to a noun to indicate that something is a noun something is a noun and 이다는요 as for 이다 guys 이다 there are two types of 있다. When you mark noun with e or 가, 있다. So 있다 will be conjugated 있어요. 있어요. So noun 이가 있어요. And there's another one, noun 에 있어요. Noun 에 있어요. So noun, noun 이가 있어요 is all about, is all about existence. So, there is, there is noun. There is noun. It also means possession. I have noun. Mm. So, it could mean one of the two. It could mean one of the two. Either there is a noun or I have a noun. And noun e isayo is all about location. Location. Something or somebody is at noun so noun is usually a place noun so that's the difference between ida and itta guys mm. ida itta is about existence possession location and ida is something or somebody's identity somebody equals something or equals a noun okay so when you say hangugin korean person hangugin it would mean existence there is a Korean, which is not the proper answer to the question. 지수 씨는 한국인이에요? 그리고 아니요, no, 한국인이 
없어요. 없어요. So it does antonym. It does antonym with the 없다, which is conjugated 없어요. And this would mean it doesn't exist. I don't, it, it, it doesn't exist or I don't have or it's not at. So 없다, 없다. And in this case, 한국인이 없어요 would be the opposite meaning of 한국인이 있어요. There is no Korean. And this one, 한국인 이에요. Jisusi equals 한국인. Jisusi is Korean. And 아니요 한국인이에요 would be uh, an unnatural response to respond to Jisusi in 한국인이에요 because of 아니요. Why would you say no when she is Korean, in fact, right? So it's number three. Let's move on to beginner number four. Beginner number four. Select the most natural response to this sentence. So I'll, again, I'll repeat it twice. 이게 뭐예요? 이게 뭐예요? 음, 그렇죠. 맞아요. 여러분, 이분이 1번이라고 하셨고, 그리고, 어, 맞아요. Okay, the rest of you guys said number one. Okay, okay, okay. 어, 여러분들, 여기 혹시 beginner, are you guys, is there any beginner level learners here? Because all of you guys are so good. <laughs> this is a beginner level. If you're not at a beginner level, this would be, uh, you, you will find this a bit easy. I mean, very easy. <laughs> Uh, but we will get to high beginner and intermediate uh, later on in this class after we're done with beginner part. But just so you know, this is a beginner part. So the question was, 이게 뭐예요, right? 이게 뭐예요? 이게 뭐예요? Again, 에요, this verb appears. And we learn that 에요 is another conjugation of 이다. So this is also an equal noun. Mm. Just so you guys uh, forgot or don't know, you put EAU after a noun to mean something is noun when that noun ends in a consonant. And if that noun ends in that noun would be, would be a Korean noun, right? So if that noun, if that Korean word ends in vowel this time, if it ends in vowel, you can add EAU to mean that is noun. So, mm, so. 이게 뭐예요? Would be 이게 means this. Oh, this. 이거 plus subject marker 가 combined becomes 이게. So 이거가 or 이게 this is 뭐? What? This is what? Literally, that's how the sentence is formed. So it means what's this? What's this? This is what? This is what? And so to this you can answer something is noun right something is noun so this would be the most natural answer and 사전 사전 guys 사전 means dictionary 사전은 a pic uh, it's not picture uh, it means dictionary so this is a dic oh it is a dictionary oh my god why is i why am i keep pressing the wrong pen the dictionary all right. And 사전이 있어요. What would this mean, guys? 사전이 있어요. 사전이 있어요. We learned that 이 있어요. 이 있어요. This 이. Mm. Noun is marked with this 이 and then 있어요. So it means either existence or possession. Mm. So 사전이 있어요 would either mean I have a dictionary or there is a dictionary. Mm. There is a dictionary. And if you say 사전이 많아요, 만, 많아요, 많다 means uh, to be many, to be many. So you can basically think of 사전이 많아요 as an upgraded version of 사전이 있어요. So 사전이 있어요 is there is and 사전이 많아요 is there is a lot of something or I have a lot of something. Mm. 많아요. 그리고 사전이 아니에요. 이 아니에요. 아니에요. 아까 at, uh, in the first question, guys, we learned that 아니에요 literally means uh, it's not. 
it's not. And noun e aninio, you can think of it as the antonym of noun ieo. So noun ieo or eo, where something is noun, equal, right? Equal. And when you want to say something is not noun, something is not noun, you can say noun e or ka aniyeo. Noun e or ka aniyeo. It is or somebody is not not noun not noun. That's all. So 사전이 아니에요 would mean it's not a dictionary. 사전이 아니에요. 좋아 여러분. 잘하고 있어요. You guys are doing great so far. And now let's move on to number five. Number five, 가볼게요. Number five. 누나가 있어요? 누나가 있어요? 아이세규 님께서 가장 먼저 2번이라고 해 주셨는데 어 여러분 everyone else is saying number 2 yes number 2 is correct number 2 is correct so the person said 누나가 있어요 right 누나가 있어요 누나가 있어요 누나가 있어요 누나는요 누나 means an older sister older sister and it can only be used by a guy by male. If you want to say older sister, uh, if you're a woman, if you're a girl and you want to say older sister, then you can say 언니, 언니. So 언니 is an older sister for females. Nuna is an older sister for, for male. So 누나가 있어요. Basically, this person is asking if you have an older sister. And we can guess that the other person, someone, is, someone who is being asked to, is a male. So let's look from number one. 네, yes, 제가, I, I, 누나, 에요, 에요, we learned that this is an equal verb. So I am 누나. Yes, I am 누나. Oh, is it the right answer to, do you have, a, oh, do you have an older sister? Yes, I am an older sister is not the appropriate answer. Mm. 그리고, 아니요, no, 누나가. 없어요. 누나가 없어요. 혹시 이거 기억나요? 가 없어요. 가 없어요. We learned that 없어요 is the antonym of 있어요. And when you say noun 이가 없어요, it means there is no or I don't have. So if you say no, I don't have an older sister. 누나가 없어요. This would be this would be the correct answer. This would be the natural response. And 네, 동생이 있어요. 동생이 있어요. So 동생 means your younger sibling. Your younger sibling. It could be both a female and male younger sibling. And if you want to specify their gender, you can say 여동생 for female younger sibling or 남동생 for male younger sibling. But uh, 네, 동생이 있어요 is basically saying, yes, 동생이 있어요, 동생 I have. I have, an, I have an, a, a younger sibling. So this is not the natural answer to 누나가 있어요. And how about this one, guys? 아니요, no, 누나가 집에 있어요, 누나가 집에 있어요. Oh, Carl, 씨, 안녕하세요. Carsi, oh, I think it's your, it's probably your first time joining my live class on YouTube. I'm not sure, but it's so good to see your name. Mm. Anyways, back to class. Do not older sibling, uh, my, my, my older sister ga. 집에 있어요. 집에 있어요. Do you guys remember what e isayo was? E isayo. Not e ga isayo, but e isayo. E isayo. We learned here that e isayo is all about location or oh, somebody is at that place or something is at that place. So, 누나가 집에 있어요. 집, you can guess this is some kind of place. And 집, yes, it actually means a house or home. Home. So, 집에 있어요. She is at home. 
she's at home. No, my sister is at home. Is not the natural answer, correct? 누나가 있어요. 응. All right. 그 다음에 6 번. Okay. So let's move on to number six, guys. Number six. 응. Number six. 시작할게요. I'll repeat it twice. 언제 영화를 봤어요? 언제 영화를 봤어요? 오웬님, 4번. Okay, you're very fast, 좋아요. And everyone else said uh, number 4. And those who are joining for the first time, welcome. And welcome people in the live chat and joining this class. Thank you for coming. And you guys did a great job. Yes, it is number 4. It is number 4. The person said, the person asked, 언제, right? 언제 영화를 봤어요? 언제 영화를 봤어요? 언제 영화를 봤어요? 언제? So if you get 언제, then you can guess. Oh, so he's asking about when. This person is asking about time. At what time? 언제? When? 영화. 영화 means movie. 보다 means to see, to look, to watch. It's all about visual action, right? So, 영화를 보다 would mean watch a movie. And 영화를 봤어요 is past conjugation, so watched. So, when did you watch the movie? When, when, right? So, you can select the answer that has some sort of time that gives the information about the time. And if you look at the first one, it says, 집에서 영화를 봤어요. 집, we just learned that it means home. So, 집. 에서, 에서 is a particle that means at. It's also a place particle, just like a, but the difference is that 에서 can be used to mark a place if an action is done at that place. So you're not merely just exist, existing there. If you're just existing there, you can use 있어요. So 집에 있어요 just means she is at home. But when you want to say that person is doing a specific action, an action not just more than just staying somewhere, you can use 에서 to mark that place. So 영화를 보다 is an action. You're not you're not just existing there. You are doing something there. So 어, 집 can be placed. I mean 집 can be marked with 에서. So 집에서 영화를 봤어요. I watched a movie at home. This is not time related information. 친구하고 영화를 봤어요. This 하고 this 하고 means with with. And it can only be used with a person noun. So with a person. So 친구하고 would mean with a friend. I watched a movie. So again, this is uh, also not time-related information. And number three. 핸드폰으로, 핸드폰으로 영화를 봤어요. This 으로, 으로, you can use... 으로 when the noun ends in a consonant or just 로 when noun ends in vowel. So here 핸드폰, 핸드폰 which means cell phone ends in a consonant so you can mark it with 으로 and this 으로 means with as in using, using. So this is a particle that is used to mark the tools that you do the action with. So it's saying I watched a movie with my phone, so on my phone in English, so with my phone, we say that, we say like that in Korean, but this is also not time-related information. And number four, it says, 주말에, there you go, 주말에 영화를 봤어요, 주말, our favorite time of the week, 주말, 주말 means weekend, 주 means week, 말 is a sign of Korean word that means end, so 주말 literally means weekend, 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 and this a. So we learned that a here is a time, is a place marker, but a is also commonly used as a time marker, mm. time marker. So a, a, 어디 갔어? 이거 있어. A, I'll just write it here. It can be place marker. 
but you have to make sure that the following verb is an existence verb like itta and e is also a time marker time and eso is also a place marker and you have to make sure that some kind of action is done at that place only then you can mark that place with eso so the num so the correct answer is 주말에 영화를 봤어요. I watched the movie on the weekend. And let's move on to number 7 guys. Number 7. Number 7. Number 7. I'll repeat it twice guys. 이 사과를 어디에서 샀어요? 이 사과를 어디에서 샀어요? Mm, okay, you guys are very fast. Number one. 그렇죠. 어, 시장에서 샀어요. If you hear, 어디에서, 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 mm. then you can sense where this question is going, right? 어디에서 이 사과를 샀어요? Going, oh, 이 사과를, 이 사과는 apple이란 뜻이에요. Apple, mm, it's the fruit. 이 사과를, the object marker, 이 사과를, 어디, 어디에서 샀어요? 이 사과를 어디에서 샀어요? So, 어디, 아, 왜 자꾸 black marker가 있지? I want some vivid color. There you go. 어디, 어디 means where, right? Where. And we learned just now that 에서 is a place marker, which is used when you do a specific action in that place. So, literally, at where, 사다 means to buy. 샀어요 is a past conjugation of 사다. So, where did you buy this apple? 이 사과 어디에서 샀어요? So, you can select the one that has location information. At where? At where? And even if you don't know what 시장 means, you can kind of guess that, oh, this would be the most natural answer because it follows this format, or the same format from the question. So, 시장 means market, guys. Market. Market. So, at 시장. 어, 시장에서 at 시장. 샀어요. I bought. I bought. 그리고 어제 샀어요. 어제. So, 어제 means yesterday. And you don't have to mark 어제 with the time marker a, guys. You don't need to because 어제 itself is an adverb that can function without any uh, time marker. So, uh, just 어제 uh, is correct. So, 어제, yesterday, I bought, 샀어요. 엄마가 샀어요. 엄마, the subject marker. Mom bought it. And 안 is an adverb that negates a verb. So, 샀어요 would mean I bought. 안 샀어요 would mean I didn't buy. <laughs> 안 샀어요. Alright, so you did a great job. And let's move on to... Number eight. Oh, 8번 넘어갈게요. 8번, 8번. I'll repeat it twice. 누가 이 커피를 마셨어요? 누가 이 커피를 마셨어요? 오케이, okay. 그렇죠. 넘버 3. 음, 넘버 3가 맞습니다, 여러분. 제가 마셨어요. 제가 마셨어요. So the question was, 누가, 누가 이 커피를, 누가 이 커피를 마셨어요? 누가 이 커피를 마셨어요? And here this E means, means this, this, it's a modifier. So there has to be a noun that follows after e. So this apple, 이 사과, this coffee, 이 커피. And 마시다 means to drink. So 마셨다 would mean drink. And 누가, 누가. So 누구 means who, guys, who. 누구 means who. And 누가 also means who, but it can only be used when who is placed at the subject part of the sentence, meaning 
who, this who is the doer of the action. So for example, guys, for example, guys, who does mom like and who ate my cheese? Let's compare these two sentences, guys. Who does mom like? Who does mom like? In this sentence, guys, who does the action of liking? Is it who that is liking? Or, sorry, 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 it's, it's, why did I say moon? It's mom, terrible handwriting. Excuse me, guys. So here in this sentence, is the subject who or is the subject mom? Is the doer of the action like mom or who? It's mom, right? Who does mom like? In this case, you can say, 엄마가, 엄마가, 누구 좋아해요? 누구 좋아해요? You can use 누구 in this sentence, in this question, because you are asking, who does mom like? Uh, who does mom like? 누구 is not the action of 좋아하다, mm, not, not doing the action of 좋아하다, it's mom. But in the next sentence, guys, who ate my cheese? In this question, who is the person that did the action of eating, right? So oh, this person is trying to find someone who ate, who did the action of eating. So in this case, who is in the subject part? Who is the doer of the action? So in this case, you can say, 누가, oh, who, 누가, my cheese, 내 치즈를, 누가 내 치, 치를? 내 치즈를, 누가 내 치즈를 먹었어요? 누가 내 치즈를 먹었어요? So that would be the difference between 누구, 누구, and 누가, 누가. And here as well, 누가 did the action of drinking coffee. So this person is trying to find someone that drank this coffee, that did the action of drinking this coffee. So, hmm we should select the one that has the information about who did the action. And the only sentence that has a person noun in it would be this one. 제가, 제가, 제가 is 저 plus I. So 저 means I, right? So I drank it. Mm, I drank it. Mm, 제가 마셨어요. I drank it. 제가 마셨어요. So it should be number three. And let's look at uh, the the rest of the selections. 커피숍에서 마셨어요. 커피숍에서 마셨어요. By looking at this particle, 에서, this particle, 에서, you can guess, you can notice that this is a place, a location where the person did the action of drinking coffee. So 커피숍에서, in coffee shop or at coffee shop. <laughs> 마셨어요. I drank it. And 아, Ga is a time adverb, means earlier today, earlier, a little while ago, or earlier today, a little while ago, I drank it. So it has the information of time, but not about a person. And 커피가 맛있어요. This is a completely irrelevant answer. 커피가 맛있어요. 커피 is delicious. Oh, this is not the appropriate answer for 누가 커피를 마셨어요. So, it's number three. Mm. K author name. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying this class. And uh, number nine. Number nine. Let's move on to number nine, guys. Again, I'll be repeating it twice. Repeating the question twice. 아침으로 뭐 먹었어요? 아침으로 뭐 먹었어요? I spoke it a little fast to make it a little challenging, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's not a super hard question. All right, so you guys are giving me yes or three. Three. Oh, 그렇죠. 음, 아침으로 뭐 먹었어요? Yes, it is number three. The answer is number three. So let's break down the question. 아침으로, 아침으로, 아침으로. 아침으로 뭐 먹었어요? 뭐 먹었어요? So even if you didn't get this part, 아침으로, if you heard the rest of the sentence, 뭐 먹었어요? Then oh, it's easy to guess the right answer. 
So bo means what? What? Right? What? The question word. And mokta mokta means to eat. So 먹었어요 is 먹다's past tense. So 아침으로 would mean for 아침 breakfast. For breakfast, what ate? What did you eat for breakfast? And if the answer has the information of what you ate, then that would be the correct answer, which is number three. 계란, 계란 means egg. Egg. 계란을 먹었어요. I ate eggs. 계란을 먹었어요. 저녁에 먹었어요. 저녁 means either dinner or evening. But from this particle, a time marker, you can guess that 저녁 here is used to mean evening. So in the evening, 저녁에 먹었어요. No, this is not the proper answer. 아침을, breakfast를. 매일, every day, 먹어요. I eat. I eat breakfast every day. So, so this is a completely irrelevant answer. And not completely, but this is not the most natural answer. And number four, 식당에서 먹었어요. If 에서 is followed by an action noun, I mean action verb, then you can guess, you can, you can know for sure that this is a place marker. So... 식당 is the place where you ate. Mm, ate 아침. So 식당 means a restaurant, mm, a food place. It doesn't have to be a big fancy restaurant. It could be any uh, any types of uh, stores or places that sell food, and you can eat there. Mm. Okay. 그 다음에 all right. So we're done with the selecting the answer. Uh, answer part and I, I think I thought it would be fun to do a bit of a short speaking practice and um, yeah so I brought four questions guys so you can do one of these three things guys you could um, you could just translate the meaning of the question in English in English you can do one of the three one of the three or you could Oh, you could uh, dictate. You could do dictation of the question. Or you could give me your answer. Mm. So I will be asking a question in Korean and you can actually respond to that question. Either in English or Korean, it doesn't matter. It would be preferable if you use Korean, but if you don't have a Korean keyboard on your computer, then you can always answer in English as well. Or in Korean. Okay, mm. all right, okay, let's do it, let's do it. So, the first question is, 여러분은 어느 나라 사람이에요? 여러분은 어느 나라 사람이에요? 음, 여러분 어느 나라 사람이에요? 오케이, okay, so Candy 님 is the first to answer. So you're from Hong Kong. 오케이. Okay. 아, 홍콩 사람이에요. Candy 님은 홍콩 사람이에요. 그다음에 and 그쵸, 오웬 님께서 여기 작성을 하셨네. 잠깐만요. Oh, no, 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 not this one. Let's zoom it in. 오케이. Okay. So uh, 오웬 님 right, wrote out the question. 여러분은 어느 나라 사람이에요? This is what I ask, guys. 여러분 means like you guys, everyone. You guys, it's for addressing big group of people. And 어느 나라, which 나라, country, 사람 means person. 이에요, we learned this. Equaling verb, right, is. Oh, so everyone is which country person? So where are you guys from, basically? Oh, which country person are you? And you guys are giving me answers. India, USA, Sweden 사람이에요. Ah, Sweden 사람 있고. 그 다음에 호주 사람이에요. You're from Austra Australia, okay. 그리고 알제리 사람이에요. Algeria 사람이에요. Wow, that's interesting. Oh. 그리고 인도네시아, Indonesia 사람이에요. 그리고 미국 사람이에요. You're from the US. 그리고 
필리핀 사람이에요. You're from the Philippines. And Angel님은 Nigeria, 아, Nigeria 사람이시구나. 그리고 Angie님은 제 생각에 오타 타이포인 것 같은데 인도, 어, 인도, 인디아 사람이시고 Nigeria, we have another Nigerian here. 영국 사람이시구나. 어, 영국인, you're from England. 아, 러시아, 러시아 사람도 있으시고 Croatia, wow, you live in a beautiful country. 그리고 이집트 사람이에요. 그리고 어, KD 타타연님 높임말 어느 나라 분이세요? 좋아요. 그리고 we have another American here. 남아공, wow, okay, so you're from, um, you're South African, 태사님. 오, Slovakia. Wow, 터키도 있고 뭐 진짜 다양하시구나. Okay, thank you for sharing, guys. Bangladesh, we have Bangladesh, we have Israel. Singapore, Morocco, Iraq. Wow. Oh, 맞아요. Kai 씨는 노르웨이인이에요. 저도 알아요. <웃음> 그리고 uh, Julia 님 독일 사람, 필리핀, 나이지리아. Okay. Oh, we have oh uh, people from different backgrounds, uh, different countries joining this uh, this class. So, oh, I'm so excited. I'm super excited to learn about your um your your nationality, guys. Oh, 너무 좋네요. 아, 그리고 올라리님은 캐나다, 캐, 캐, 캐나다 말고 캐나다 사람이시구나. 오케이, okay, 좋아요. Thank you for sharing your answers, guys. Answers, guys. And I'll move on to the next question, guys. Next question. 하, 어, 한국인 친구가 있어요? 한국인 친구가 있어요? 네, 여러분, 한국인 친구 있어요? 한국인 친구가 있어요? 음, 에비님 says, 아, 에비님은 없으시다. No, 라고 하셨고. 음, 다른 분은 어때요? How about you guys? 일단은 그 오웬님께서, 오웬님이 어, 질문을 적어주셨어요. Thank you, 오웬님, for writing out the whole um, question. 칭, 한국인 친구가 있어요. This is what I asked. So, 가 있어요. We learned that this means either to, there is or to have. So, I was asking, do you have? 한국인, Korean, 친구, friend. Mm. Do you have Korean friends, guys? And, 아, 없어요 라고 대답하신 분도 있고, 그리고 있어요 라고 대답하신 분도 있고, I have some, mm. 그쵸? 그리고 없어요, I don't have a Korean friend, 아니요, 아니요, 아, 있어요. 그리고, I don't have one, 없어요, 네, 있어요. 스웨덴에 한국인 친구가 있으시구나. 아, 수, 스웨덴에, you can say 스웨덴에, 한국인 친구가 있어요. 오, 그리고 딥티님은 저밖에 없어요. 아, 정말요? 아, 그러시구나. I'm so honored to be your first and only Korean friend. And uh, 사실은 한국인 친구가 없어서 선생님이 많이 있어서 너무 기뻐요. 음, 그렇죠. 그럴 수 있죠. 맞아요. 한국인 친구는 없지만 한국어를 배우시는 분들은 If you're learning Korean, you will have a lot of like, you know, you will know a lot of um, Korean teachers. That's good too. That's good too. Oh, mm. So I think there's half and half. Mm. There are some people who have Korean friends, some people, some other people who don't. Mm. Okay, 좋아요. 좋아요, 여러분. Mm. All right. Oh, thank you for sharing, guys. Thank you. 그 다음에, my next question is, 한국어 공부가 재미있어요? 한국어 공부가 재미있어요? Mm. 여러분, 한국어 공부가 재미있어요? 아, 버블검님 answered the previous question. 온라인에만 한국인 친구 있구나. 어, 그거 온라인 친구도 친구니까. Online friend is a friend, so that counts too, 버블검님. 그 다음에, uh, let's see you guys' answer. 여, 네, 재미있어요. 오케이, okay. 아, 재미있고, 어, 재미있어요. A lot of people uh, said 재미있어요. And this is what I asked, guys. 하, 한국어 공부가 재미있어요? So, Korean... 공부 means study or studying, or the action of studying. 재미있어요? Fun. So is Korean studying fun is what I asked. And let's see you guys' answer. 아, 네, 너무 재미있어요. 그리고 네, 진짜 재미있어요. 오케이. 그 다음에 어, 네, 재미있어요. 어렵지만 너무 재미있어요. 좋아요. 맞아요. 좀 어렵긴 해요. It is, it could be. 
difficult. But I have to say, I'm glad you're finding it fun. 많이 재미있어요. 한국어 공부가 재미있는데 그쵸, 조금 어려워요. 맞아요, 조금 어려울 수 있고 또 uh, it's quite of a hobby now. Mm, 30, 30 grad name. Oh, what's wrong with my cat? My cat just sat on it, sorry. Oh, 30 grad name, okay, 좋아요. 네, 아주 재미있어요. 네, 너무 재미있어요. 네, 진짜 재미있어요. 바빠도 한국어 공부를 열심히 하려고 노력했어요. 아주 좋아요, perfect. 음, 재미있어요. 훨씬 재밌어요. 어려운데 재밌어요. 어, 선생님이랑 함께하면 재밌어요. 오케이, 좋아요. 감사합니다. <웃음> 그리고 음, 네, 정말 재미있어요. 한국어 공부하고 너무 재미있어요. Challenging, but so much fun. 음, 오케이, thank you for answering, guys. 그리고 K author님, uh, reply with simple, simple answer. 네, <웃음> 네, very simple. As simple as that. 오케이, 음, 정말 재밌어요. 음, 너무 재밌어요. 오케이. Mm, I'm really glad you guys are positive about studying. Mm. 좋아요. 아주 좋아요. 그 다음에, uh, so my, my last question, guys. My last question is, 한국어 공부를 언제 시작했어요? 한국어 공부를 언제 시작했어요? 여러분, 한국어 공부 언제 시작했어요? 언제? 응, 그렇죠. 오해님 또 적어주셔서 감사해요. This is what I ask, guys. So, 한국어 공부, we learned that this is Korean studying. And 언제 means when. 시작하다 means to start. So, when did you start studying Korean is what I ask. So, when did you start studying Korean, guys? 저는 a few months ago, okay, last six months. 그리고 Uh, I started not too long ago. Okay, 2년 전에, 2년 전, uh, two years ago. Okay, last year November, 3년 전. Okay, 작년 9월에 시작하셨구나. Last last September. 그리고 아 완전히 정확한 날짜를 기억하고 계시네요. You you remember the exact date? So it's 2022 April 22. Oh, that's a good number. <laughs> It rhymes. It's uh, not rhyme, but 22-22. Oh, that's quite meaningful. And um, one and a half years ago, since 2020, mm, still a beginner. 1년 반 전에 시작했어요. Uh, one and a half. 사주. 아, 사주밖에 안 됐어요. 사주예요. 사주예요. You can remove E and say 사주예요. So it's been four weeks for 30 grad name. In 2017, but on and off, I, I completely uh, relate to that, a week ni. Mm, same thing is happening with my Chinese. <laughs> I've been on and off with that. But uh, mm, glad you're keeping up still. 다음에 7월, in July, 2021년에 한국어 공부를 어, 시작하셨구나, 2021년. 그리고 세비나님, 작년부터, 작년, 2년. 아마도 21년에 음, 그래서 two years 정도 되셨구나. 그리고 2021년에 시작했지만 아, 좀 break가 있었구나. You had some break in between. 어, 기억이 안날수 있죠. 음, 기억이 안 나요. 그럴 수 있죠. 맞아요. That could happen. 음. 그리고 올해, 올해 2월. 아, so this year February 시작하셨구나. 3년 전 2021년. 다음에 2019년부터 오케이 음, 꽤 오래 되셨네요. 꽤 오래 되셨네요. 그리고 uh, but about a year ago I stopped because of the uni. 아 uh, 맞아요 맞아요. 그럴 수 있죠. That could happen. 음. 맞아요. 음 그렇구나. But I'm glad you guys are still keeping up with it. Uh, even though you're not, you know, like hardcore about it. Not many people are like. Studying every day intensively, but still, I think it's very meaningful that you at least keep it up. That at least you come back, you know, even if it's on and off. 그래서 음, it's 음, it was so fun to know about you guys' story. 음, 그 다음에 all right, so that's for that's it, that's all for the short speaking practice, and now we're gonna move on to. Net to high beginner level uh, listening practice, guys. Listening practice. So this gets a little longer than the beginner conversations. 
All right, so from number one to two, you can select the one that's where most likely the conversation is taking place. Okay, guys. And so let's go over the vocabulary first. In just in case there's a word that you guys don't know. So, Hakyo means school, shikdang, restaurant, hesa, company. So basically your workplace. It could be your office as well. And in Korea, we say company. Oh, directly, we just say company, not office. Hesa, company, kungon. Park. Mm. Park. All right. So let's start from number one. Where is this conversation taking place? Ah, so this is a dialogue, guys. So from, from uh, this level on, there will be a dialogue. So for a guy's voice, I will speak in a lower voice. And for a girl, for a woman's voice, I will speak with my own voice. Okay. Mm. So guy's part. Here I go. Guy's part. 과장님, 오늘 몇 시에 퇴근하세요? 일이 많아서 늦게 퇴근할 것 같아요. Oops, I forgot to add this, this, this sign. Sorry, guys. I'll, I'll repeat one more. And so I'll repeat twice for every question. So here, here we go again. 과장님, 오늘 몇 시에 퇴근하세요? 일이 많아서 늦게 퇴근할 것 같아요. 정답이 뭘까요? 웃겨요, 여러분. <웃음> 죄송합니다. 네. 어, 3번 맞습니다. 3번. 음. 3번 회사죠, 회사. So you don't need to understand every single part of the dialogue, but you can guess the answer, guess the answer just by some of the words that you can hear, right? So let's look at the script. Script. This was the script. 과장님, 오늘 몇 시에 퇴근하세요? So 퇴근 is definitely a hint. And 일 is also definitely a hint. So the answer is company. 일단은 퇴근하다가요. 퇴근하다 means to get off work. Mm. To get off work. And the antonym of 퇴근하다 would be 출근하다, which means to go to work, mm, to get to work, to go to work, to go to work. So, 과장님 is like the head of the department, or head of the department. So, 과장님, it's, it's that person's title. So, 과장님, mm, it's, it's only used in a company. So, also from 과장님, you can guess that they're in a company, 회사. Mm. So, 과장님, 오늘, today, 몇 시, 몇 시, at what time, at what time, and you mark it with time marker A, 퇴근하세요, so 퇴근하다 is honorific, 퇴근하세요, at what time are you getting off work? And 과장님 says, 아, 일이 많아서, work, a lot, work is many, so there's a lot of work, so, 늦게, late, 퇴근하다, to get off work, and if you guys are familiar with 은것 같다 or 을것 같다. So this is a future tense of 을것 같다, which means I think, to think that verb will happen. To think that verb will happen. And the present tense version would be verb 는것 같다. And the past tense version would be verb 은것 같다. So the first one, verb 을것 같다, means I think the verb will happen. The second one, I think uh, something is verb, something does verb, because it's present. And the next one, verb 은것 같다, I think subject verbed, like previously, because it's past tense. And here, 늦게 퇴근할 것 같아요. She's thinking what will happen in the future. Because it has future suffix. So, 일이 많아서, I have a lot of works. So, I think I will get off work late. 늦게 퇴근할 것 같아요. 그래서, oh, so... Oh, you can see the next one. Oh, when name. <laughs> you can see the next one. Okay, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, 그래서, so the answer is number three. 회사입니다, 회사. 그 다음에, let's move on to the next one, guys. Next one. Where most likely is the conversation taking place? 교실 means classroom. 
It literally means teaching 교room. 실. 교실, teaching room. And 백화점 means department, store. 공항 means airport. It really literally does mean airport. Air, 공항, airport. It's a sign of Korean word that means airport. And 서점 means bookstore. So I will, I will, uh, I will, I will read the dialogue now. So guy's voice in low voice, woman's voice, my voice. So here we go. 선생님 질문이 있어요. 수업이 끝나서 질문은 다음 시간에 받을게요. One more time. 선생님 질문이 있어요. 수업이 끝나서 질문은 다음 시간에 받을게요. 여러분, mm. already picked up the word, pick up the answer. Number one is the answer, 맞아요. 1번 맞고. Uh, and just by hearing the word 선생님, I think you guys can uh, guess the answer, right? Mm. 선생님, teacher, 선생님. 질문이 있어요. 질문 means question, right? Question, 질문. So we learned that it's about possession or there is. So this person is saying, 선생님, I have a question. 질문이 있어요. And uh, 선생님 says, uh, 수업이, 수업 means class, guys, class. So 수업 means class, 교실 means class room. 수업이 끝나다, it's over, it ended. 수업 is over, 수업이 끝나서. 질문은, question as for the question, 다음 시간, next time, time marker. So 다음 시간에, at next time, 받다 means to receive, see. And 읽게요 is another past, pa, uh, sorry, future, future conjugation of verb, right? So I will receive the questions, basically, 받을게요, 다음 시간에. Next time. So definitely it's not department store, airport, bookstore, it's classroom. I think I probably made the, these two questions too easy, but this is just a warm up, guys. It gets more challenging uh, as we uh, go over to next questions. All right, so let's move on to number three of high beginner level uh, listening. Number three. All right, so from number three to five, you, should, you guys should be choosing the correct answer according to the dialogue. The correct answer according to the dialogue. So I will repeat the dialogue twice. And again, as for woman's voice, it's my voice. As for guy's voice, it's lower version of my voice, okay? So Yoda starts this time, Yoda. 이번 주말에 아 미안해요 아 이거 아니다 이거 아니다 아, sorry I've been I I try to read the next one number four it's number three so uh, 남자 starts this time 남자 지수야 기차표 예매했어 아 미안 어제 너무 바빠서 예매를 못했어 그럼 내가 오늘 서울역에 가서 표를 예매할게 one more time. One more time. 지수야, 기차표 예매했어? 아, 미안. 어제 너무 바빠서 예매를 못했어. 그럼 내가 오늘 서울역에 가서 기차표를 예매할게. Okay, 일단은 number one도 있고, number four도 있고 uh, Most of you guys said number one. Yes, number one is correct. 1번이 맞아요. 여러분 잘했어요. Good job, guys. Good job. 그러면 이거를 또 빨간색으로 바꾸고 싶다. 음. 서울역에 갈 겁니다. 좋아요. 일단은 let's look at the script first, guys. Script. 음. 일단 남자가 얘기하는 게 지수야, 기차표 예매했어? 라고 물어봤어요. 기차 means train, 표 means ticket. 
fuel can be used for any kind of ticket. It could be a ticket for a concert, ticket for a plane, ticket for a movie. Uh, and here, it's ticket for a train. So, 기차표 예매했어? 예매했어요? 예매하다. If you break down 한자, it means in advance buy. In advance buy. So, 예매하다, to buy it in advance. So, to buy the ticket in advance. So, 지수야, did you buy the ticket in advance? Mm. Like, did you reserve the ticket, the train ticket? And 여자 says, ah, 미안, yes, 미안, sorry. 미안 would be the 반말 form. So this whole conversation is taking place, I mean, is spoken in 반말, the casual speech. Mm. And 미안 would be casual form of 미안해요 or 미안합니다. So, ah, 미안, I'm sorry. 어제 너무 바빠서, yesterday, very busy. So, 예매를 못했대요, 못. Can't. Mm. I couldn't. I couldn't buy it in advance. So, 남자 resp- replies, 그럼, 아, 그러면, then, then, 아, 그럼, then, 내가, 내가, me, I, 오늘, today, 서울역, 서울역 means station. Uh, it's not used for bus station. For bus station, you can use 정류장, 정류장. But for train station, you should be using 역. So Seoul station a 가서. I would go there and then. This 서 doesn't mean so here. It means and then. Uh, uh, related subsequent action. Uh, I would go to Seoul the station and 표를 예매할게. Buy the ticket in advance. 저 여기 가서 예매할게. Uh, Owen님이, should there be a space? No, actually not necessarily. Mm. You can just uh, attach them together. It doesn't really matter. Mm. So, 남자 is the one who will be going to the Seoul station to buy the ticket. So, number one, 남자는 서울역에 갈 겁니다. Uh, 가다, future tense. Mm. 남자 will 가다, go to Seoul station. So, number one is the correct answer. And number two, it says... 여자는 요즘, these days, 시간이 없습니다. 시간이 없다. Oh, we learn 뭐뭐가 없다, 이가 없다 means to not have, to not have something, right? So, I don't have, I mean, 여자 doesn't have time, 요즘, these days. Oh, so, woman, oh, the woman doesn't have time these days, but that's a little too far-fetched because she didn't really mention that. She just said that she was busy yesterday but we don't know for sure if she is busy like recently all throughout uh, you know her days so mm, this is quite far-fetched so number two is not the correct answer and 남자는 어제 기차표를 샀습니다 사다 means to buy did he buy the ticket 어제 yesterday no, he didn't. Oh, Yoda was supposed to buy it, but then she forgot. So Namja promised that she he will go instead. So three is incorrect. And Yoda는 남자 대신 표를 예매할 겁니다. Yoda는 남자 대신 표를 예매할 겁니다. So here's the thing about 대신, guys. 대신. So 대신 means instead. 대신. Bigger. 대신 means instead. So if you say A 대신 B, it means A instead of B, right? So A is your choice, not B. Mm. And it can also mean you do the action, you do something instead of someone, as in for someone. So it sometimes does imply you're doing someone a favor mm, by doing something instead of them. You do something for somebody, so it's a favor. So 대신, 대신에, so if you say 대신에, it can mean in return as well, which will appear in our next dialogue, and we will go, we will learn this more there. So 대신 means instead, and here guys, in this choice in choice number four it says 여자는 남자 대신 표를 예매할 겁니다 meaning woman will 
the woman will 예매하다 the 표 will buy the 표 instead of 남자 instead of 남자 아 미안해요 oh my gosh I'm so sorry guys I'm so sorry a 대신 b a 대신 헷갈린다 영어 때문에 헷갈린다 a 대신 아 미안해요 미안해 I'm so sorry I taught you the wrong thing sorry about that oh oh my gosh I got confused with English as well so a instead of b sorry guys uh, so A 대신 B, not A, not A, B. Oh, 미안해요, 미안해요. Oh, it, it is confusing. Let me write it more properly. So if you say A 대신 B, it means your final choice is B, guys, B. Oh, B instead of A. B instead of A. B instead of A. So, 여자 대신 남자 남자가 남자가 표를 샀어요. So in this sentence guys, in this sentence, oh, who would be the one that bought the ticket? In this sentence, in this sentence, who would be the one? Is it 여자 or 남자 that bought the ticket? In this sentence. Good talk. Uh, ah, 아니에요, 아니에요. Ah, 여자 아니에요. 여자 아니에요. Marvin, 여자 아니고 여자 대신 남자, 남자. 여자 대신 남자 means 남자 instead of 여자. So when it says A 대신 P, P is the final choice. B is the one that is selected or that is the one that did the action. So it is 남자. That did the action. 맞아요. 여자 대신 남자가 표를 샀어요. 남자 instead of 여자. So you can think of it as complete opposite of English. 여자 대신 남자 means 남자 instead of woman. It goes the opposite way in English. 음. 그래서 어, 여자 대신 남자가 어, 표를 샀어요. 그래서 차드님이 오케이 오케이. She gave a 차드님께서 어, gave a good example. A 말고 B. Yes, A 말고 B랑 똑같은 word order. It has the same word order as A 말고 B. A 말고 B means B not A. B not A. So it follows the same sentence order. 여자 대신 남자, 남자 instead of 여자. Mm. Okay, oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about the uh, confusion, guys. So here, 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 here. Mm. 여자는 남자 대신 표를 예매할 겁니다. So 여자 표를 예매할 겁니다. Will buy the ticket instead of 남자. Mm. Instead of 남자. So 여자 will buy the ticket instead of 남자 is what this sentence is saying. So this is wrong, right? It's actually the other way around. So the correct statement would be 남자는 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 Oh, 남자가 is the subject. 남자는 여자 대신 여자 대신 instead of 여자 instead of 여자 표를 예매할 겁니다. You can also say 여자 대신 해고. Uh, I need more space. 여자 대신 남자가 여자 대신 남자가 어, 표를 예매할 겁니다. 예매, blah 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 blah. Mm. So they mean the same thing. 남자는 여자 대신 or 여자 대신 남자. Mm. Okay, sorry about the confusion. So the correct answer is number one. And let's move on to number four. Number four, 가볼게요. Number four. Number four is longer. And I will repeat it twice. So this time, 여자 starts, woman starts. 이번 주말에 등산하러 산에 같이 갈래요? 저는 등산을 별로 안 좋아해요. 그냥 산 입구에 있는 음식점에 가서 점심을 먹는 게 어때요? 그래요. 대신 맛있는 거 사주세요. 알겠어요. 점심 먹고 나서 산 근처에 있는 공원에 가서도 산책해요. 
Okay, so this was a bit longer, right? A lot longer. And I'll, I'll repeat it one more time. Oops, I forgot to put the, uh, the audio sign. Mm. Okay, so Yoda starts again. 이번 주말에 등산하러 산에 같이 갈래요? 저는 등산을 별로 안 좋아해요. 그냥 산 입구에 있는 음식점에 가서 점심을 먹는 게 어때요? 그래요. 대신 맛있는 거 사주세요. 알겠어요. 점심 먹고 나서 산 근처에 있는 공원에 가서 산책도 해요. 아, could you explain 겁니다? Okay, uh, uh, I will in a second. 잠시만요, 찬님. 일단은 So, what are your answers, guys? I see number three. 남자는 여자에게 밥을 사줄 겁니다. 오, yes. Wow, you guys are doing better than I thought. It is number three. Yes. So, did you guys understand, like, most of the dialogue or what they were pretty much saying? Did you understand the context, like, what's happening? 이해했어요? 일단은, yes, it is number three. I'm quite surprised that you guys oh, got it right. Oh, you guys are better at Korean than I thought, at listening than I thought. Okay, 아주 좋아요. 잠깐만요. Let me go over uh, Chan Nim's question. Let me answer Chan Nim's question for it. Could you explain 겁니다? So this 겁니다, guys, 겁니다. So 겁니다 itself is not separate. It's actually part of, um, of future tense. So you conjugate a verb in future tense like this, right? Let me use a separate note. So if you want to conjugate a verb or adjective in Korean, in future tense, you can add the uh, and then 거에요, right? 거에요, 거에요. And this is a yo ending version of future tense. Yo ending, yo sentence ending. But if you would like to use 씁니다 ending, 씁니다 ending, and combine it with future tense, or combine it with future tense, how you can do that? is you can combine 리을, 을, 거, 거 oh, you stop it right there and then you add 비읍, 니다 비읍, and then oh, let me use different color oh, 비읍, 니다 mm. so this is the combination of 씁니다 ending, um, 씁니다 ending and future tense so that's where 겁니다 is from, 찬님 mm. I hope this explained. This explained. And uh, oh, so you got uh, so 89%. Uh, 조금 이해했어요. The woman wanted to go hiking, but the man doesn't like hiking. Yes, yes, that was the context. The man asked them to eat lunch instead. Oh, 맞아요. Mm, 맞아요. 일단은 script 볼게요. Let's look at the script first. 일단 여자가 이렇게 말을 해요. 이번 주말에, 어, 이번 주말에, this weekend, 이번 주말에 등산하다, 등산하다, to climb mountain, mountain climbing, so hiking, 등산하러, 산, so 등산 literally means to climb a mountain, so 산 means mountain, 어, 산에 같이 갈래요, 을래요, it's like suggestion, would you like to, uh, do you want to, so 갈래요, would you like to go together to the mountain to climb mountain to hike this weekend. And 남자 says, 그렇죠. 저는 등산을 별로 안 좋아해요. 별로 means like not really. And it's always used with negative verb, negative adjective. 별로 안 좋아해요. I don't really like hiking. 별로 안 좋아해요. 그냥 um, just 산 입구에 있는, 산 입구에 있는 입구 means entering place or entering gate. Mm. So entrance, mountain gate, mountain entrance. Mountain entrance 에 있다, to be located at mountain entrance 는 음식점. So 음식점, this is actually a restaurant that sells food, like common restaurants, not like fancy restaurants, but small restaurants that sell food. 
So let's go to Umsikdam. That is located at the mountain entrance. Let's go there and then 점심을 먹다. Eat lunch. 게 어때요? 먹는 게 어때요? 게 어때요? Uh, how about we or how about you? Verb 게 어때요? Verb 게 어때요? It means either how about we or how about you. So here it would mean how about we eat lunch at a small restaurant at a mountain entrance because I don't like hiking that much. And then Yoza says, Oh, 그래요. Okay, 그래요. Okay. 대신. So here 대신 appears again, right? And we learned that 대신 means instead. So A 대신 B means B instead of A. And 어, 대신, 대신 can also mean you do something for somebody. You do something for somebody. So if you say 대신, 대신에, 대신, 대신에. It means like in return. It could mean in return. In return for my yielding. In return for my doing this for you. 대신, 대신에. 그래서, so that's why the woman said 대신, 대신. Oh, in return, okay, so I will give up my desire for mountain climbing for you. 대신, so instead, oh, instead or uh, in return for that, 맛있는 거 사주세요. Okay, buy me some yummy food instead. Uh, 맛있는 거, something yummy. 사주세요. 사주다. To buy, to buy. So, Ilya Nim says, okay, now I totally lost it. <laughs> so, I won't go over a uh, specific, you know, uh, uh, breakdown of each sentence, like very specific breakdown, because this is not a grammar class, right? Uh, this is more focused on listening class, but I will try my best to... Uh, cover, I mean, mention all the meanings that is used, the meanings of the word that is used in each sentence. And so, 남자 said, 알겠어요. Okay. Mm. Okay. 점심 먹고 나서, verb 고 나서, after eating lunch, 점심 먹고 나서, 산 근처에 있는 공원, so 공원은 is a modifier, so a park that is located at 산 근처, mm. 산 근처, near the mountain. Mm. So let's go to the park that is near the mountain. Mm. 네, 가서 산책도 해요. 산책도 해요. 산책하다 means to walk, mm. to take a walk. 산책하다, to take a walk. Let's take a walk as well after we have lunch there. So, the correct answer is 여자는, no, 여자는 주말에 등산할 겁니다. The woman, actually, let's look at this one right after, right below the dialogue. So, 여자는 주말에 등산할 겁니다. She will go hiking on the weekend. No, she won't, right? Because 남자 said she doesn't really like hiking. So, 여자 said, okay, let's go, uh, some, let's, you, you should buy me something yummy to eat instead. Okay, she's giving up her desire to go hiking. So number one is not the correct answer. And 여자는 공원에 가고 싶습니다. Is 여자 the one that wants to 공원에 가다? To go to the park. 여자. No, it's 남자 who suggested that first, right? 점심 먹고 나서, he said 점심 먹고 나서, after we're done eating, 산 근처에 있는 공원에 가서 산책도 해요. So, Yoda is not the one that suggested going to the park, so... Mm. The woman wants to go to the park. Also, that's what number two means. That's what number two means, but uh, not necessarily, mm. she, she, because she didn't say that. She didn't say whether she wants to go uh, to the park. And 남자는 여자에게 밥을 사줄 겁니다. 그러니까 사주다. So, 사다 means to buy, and 사주다 means to buy something for somebody. To buy something for somebody. 사주다, doing a favor of buying. So, she will buy meals to 여자. Meal as in 점심, uh, lunch. So, it's number three. And 
남자는 등산한 후에 점심을 먹을 겁니다. 등산하다 plus en hue en hue is like saying ko nasa which both of them means after after doing verb after after climbing mountain after hiking they will he will eat lunch but that's not what they're gonna do right they're not gonna go hiking at all right so number four is not the correct answer they're not gonna go hiking at all oh it's getting really hot here in this room and uh, let's move on to number five, guys. Number five. So number five is self-introduction. So it's a monologue. It's not a dialogue. Mm. So this shouldn't be too difficult. Mm. So I will read it, read, read it twice as well. So let's start number five. Mm. Number five. Ah, uh, Williams Nim. As a beginner, this is too much for me to understand, but I'm trying. Oh, so here's a tip. A kind of a tip, I guess, guys. Uh, you don't need to try to understand every single part of the, uh, the the dialogue. Okay, you can focus more on picking up some of the words that you can that that does register in your head. Mm. So no need to kind of stress out. Uh, but I will try my best to break down all the all the dialogue and all the monologues. Mm. Anyways, uh, let's start number five. So I will repeat it twice again. Okay, so since, since this is monologue, I will just read it with my own voice. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 저는 김민수라고 합니다. 저는 한국 사람이고 대학교에서 일을 합니다. 한국어를 공부하는 외국인들을 도와주는 일을 하는데요. 여러 나라 사람들을 만날 수 있어서 일이 재미있습니다. 많은 사람들에게 도움을 줄수 있어서 보람도 느낍니다. I'll read it one more time. Maybe I could locate the sign here so that it doesn't cover the answers. All right, so here we go again. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 저는 김민수라고 합니다. 저는 한국 사람이고 대학교에서 일을 합니다. 한국어를 공부하는 외국인들을 도와주는 일을 하는데요. 여러 나라 사람들을 만날 수 있어서 일이 재미있습니다. 많은 사람들에게 도움을 줄수 있어서 보람도 느낍니다. Okay, ONC 아주 빨랐고요. 그리고 데사 님도 빨랐고. Let's hide the sign. 음, okay, number 3. 다, 다들 잘 찾으시네요. Okay. So you guys are doing you guys did it great. It is number 3. 3번 맞아요, 여러분. Okay. 아주 잘하셨고요. 3번 자신의 일에 보람을 느낀다고 했어요. 일단 let's look at number three. 김민수 씨는 대학생입니다. So this means 김민수 씨 is so this 입니다, guys, is 이다. The equal verb plus 비읍습니다 ending. 비읍습니다 ending. So it means is equals. So 김민수 씨 equals 대학생. 김민수 씨 is 대학생, university student. Oh, why is number one wrong, guys? Kim Min-su 씨는 대학생이 아니에요. Kim Min-su 씨는 대학생이 아니고 뭐 한다고 했죠? So let's look at the script. 일단은 저는 Kim Min-su라고 합니다. 라고 합니다. So this is a very common way of introducing your name to someone else. You can say your name. 이라고 합니다. 어, 이라고 해요. 합니다. So I'm not going to break down every single one, but it literally means uh, people call me by this name. So 저는 김민수라고 합니다. Uh, I'm called by 김민수. 김민수라고 합니다. So I can say like 저는 비키라고 합니다. 비키라고 합니다. When I'm introducing my name to people. 비키라고 합니다. You guys can do the same thing. 
And uh, 저는 한국 사람이고 I'm Korean. And he says, she says, 대학교에서 in the university, at the university, 일합니다. 일하다, 일하다. She works there, right? So she's not a student there. She works there. Mm. She doesn't study there. 한국어를 공부하는 외국인들을 도와주는 일을 합니다. So what kind of work does she do? 한국어를 공부하다, to study Korean. And then is a modifier that modifies 외국인, 외국인. So 외국인 means foreigners, or foreigners that study Korean. 을 도와주다, to help. 는 일. The work that helps foreigners who are studying Korean. That's what this sentence means. 한국어를 공부하는 외국인들을, foreigners who study Korean, 도와주는 일, work of helping them, 합니다. I do. So, she is not really a student there. So, mm, she is not 대학생. 그리고, 김민수 씨는 한국어를 공부합니다. This is also wrong because 김민수 씨 himself is a Korean. So, he doesn't need to study Korean. So, number two is also wrong. And... Kimin Susin, and let's look at the, the rest of the model, rest of the introduction. Yoro Nara Sarande. We learned that Nara means country. Yoro means various, diverse. So Yoro Nara Saram. People of various countries. Yoro Nara Sarande. So basically people, uh, various country people. So people from various countries. Yoro Nara Sarande. Manada. To meet, oh, 만나다, plus 을수 있다, 을수 있다 means you're able to, so you're able to meet many people from the world, also, so, so, 일이 재미있대요, so he finds his work fun, 일이 재미있습니다, 그리고 많은 사람들에게, many people에게, too many people, and for many people, too many people. 도움 means help. It's a noun that means help. 주다, 도움을 주다, to give help. To give help. And once again, 수 있어서, it means able to give help to many people. 많은 사람들에게 도움을 줄수 있어서. To many people, I can give help. So, so. 보람을 느낍니다. 보람 is a really good word, guys. 보람. 보람 uh, could, could mean like fulfillment, like self-fulfillment. It could be like worth or it could be reward, as in mental reward. Mm, mental reward. So 보람을 느낍니다. So she feels 보람 as well. She feels uh, fulfillment, fulfill, fulfillment through her work as well. So, let's look at number three. Kim min su sinen 자신의 일, 자신 means his own, her own, himself, oneself. So his own work, 에 보람을 느낍니다. He feels <clears throat> value, he feels worth, fulfillment for his work. That's what he said, right? So number three is the, an uh, the answer. 그 다음에, uh, Kim min su sinen 많은 사람들에게 도움을 받았습니다. So in this introduction, in this introduction and specifically in this sentence, this 에게 means to, okay, to because it, it connects with 주다 verb. Because you can only give to a person, you cannot give from a person. So this 에게 means to, and this 에게 is connected with 받다 verb. 받다 means to receive. And you can only receive from a person, not to a person. So by context, you can guess that this 에게 means from. We learned that 에게 means to, either to or from. And you can, uh, you can know which one is used depending on what verb is used with. So here, 김민수 씨는 많은 사람들에게 도움을 받았습니다. I mean, she received help from a lot of people, but he didn't really mention that. He didn't really mention that he received help. He only mentioned he gave help to people. So, number four is wrong. And three 
is the correct answer. 음, 3번이 답입니다. 음. Alright, 그렇죠. Wrong because she, the one helping, not receiving. Alright. 좋아요. 오, 왜 이렇게 힘들지? 왜, 이렇게 내, 왜 제가 힘들죠? 일단 여러분, I'm not sure if we could go over intermediate level uh, listening today. I think, you know what I could do? I think I could open a new live class for intermediate level learners. Intermediate level uh, listening, specifically. I think that would be better, right? Mm. Because only intermediate level learners can join that class and beginner learners don't have to feel so confused. So I think that would work. So maybe, mm, so I'll try to bring more intermediate level listening class, including these three, including these three, these three materials uh, in my next class. Mm, how, how do you guys like that? 어때요? 괜찮아요? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, 더 좋아요? 그쵸? 그게 더 좋죠. 레벨별로 나누는 게 좋은 것 같아요. I think it's more efficient for a class to be uh, more specific, level specific, than to be comprehensive. So I think that will work better. Okay, thank you for being supportive, guys. So that means this dialogue would be our last, mm. our last listening practice for this live class. Okay, so it's done for this one, guys. You are supposed to find the answer for two questions, two questions uh, by listening to one dialogue. So the first question is, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? Is it 물건의 가격? 물건 means item. So I will write the literal translation, guys, not what sounds uh, natural in English. So items, price, 물건의 가격. 환불 받는 방법, the method of getting a refund. So how to get a refund, basically. Uh, 방법 means method, and it means, uh, it literally means, uh, uh, here it would mean how to get a refund. 환불 받다, to get a refund. And 인터넷 쇼핑의 문제점. Internet shopping's 문제. 문제 means problem. 문제점, problem points. So problems. And... 인터넷 물건의 좋은 점. 인터넷 물건의 좋은 점. So internet items. 좋은 점. Good point. Good point. So um, so pros. Mm. Pros is in pros and cons. Mm. Benefits, advantages. And the next one is what is correct according to the dialogue. I'm pretty sure you guys mm. you guys can understand each. Each sentence. So, 여자는 인터넷으로 신발을 샀습니다. 여자, 여자는 인터넷으로 신발을 샀습니다. The woman, 인터넷으로, with internet, with internet, 신발을 샀습니다. Bought shoes. So, on the internet, basically, she did an online shopping. And 남자는 가게에 가서, she will, he will go to the store, 가게에 가서 신발, shoes를 환불할 겁니다. So one good word to take away here would be 환불, guys. 환불, which means refund. Refund. 환불. So she's, she's going to refund the shoes. And 여자는, 여자는 주로, usually, 직접 신발을 신어봅니다. 어, 신다, 신발을 신다, to wear shoes. And 직접 is also a really good word to uh, remember, guys. 직접, 직접. 직접 literally means directly. And when you directly do something, it means you do that in person. So when you shop online, that's not buying it 직접. That's not directly buying it because you're not there in person. But the 직접 is about in person. You're face to face with that thing that you're trying to solve or with that person that you're trying to uh, communicate with. So, 직접 is all about that, uh, in person, 직접, 직접. So, 여자 usually 직접 신발을 신어봅니다. Tries the shoes on uh, in the store, in the store, 직접. 그리고 남자는 산 신발의 색깔이 마음에 들지 않습니다. 
남자는 산 신발, the shoes that he 사다, he bought, the shoes that he bought. 음, 산 신발의 색깔이 color가 마음에 들지 않습니다. 마음에 들다 무슨 뜻일까요? 마음에 들다. 마음에 들다. 마음에 들다. It means to suit one's heart. So it means to like. 음, to like. 음. 오, 이렇게 blip blop, blop 님처럼 이렇게 using, he's using the live chat to uh, take notes. I think this is a really useful way to study. 음. You can also practice typing. So 아주 좋은 것 같아요. Anyways, 마음에 들다 means to like. So he doesn't like the color of the shoes he 사다, he bought. 음. Okay, 그러면은 Let's listen to the dialogue and you guys can select the correct answers for each number six and number seven. Mm. Oh, you go, I can't, I can't, I, I couldn't get past, I couldn't pass this comments. Thank you very much, Talia. See, live 진짜 마음에 들어요. Thank you so much. 저도 여러분이 마음에 들어요. 네, 저도 진짜로 여러분이 마음에 듭니다. 감사합니다. 다음은... You guys think you can see all the all the answer now? All right. Mm. All right. So number six, seven dialogue. Here we go. So 남자 starts now. 남자. I will uh, I will read out loud 남자's part in lower voice and 여자's voice with my own voice. So 남자 says, 지난주에 인터넷으로 산 신발을 환불하려고 왜? 색깔이 예뻐서 보고 바로 사지 않았어? 컴퓨터로 봤을 때는 예뻤는데 직접 보니까 신발 색깔이 너무 다르더라고 그리고 신발 가격이 싸서 좋았는데 신어보니까 튼튼하지 않아 아, 그럼 환불해야겠네. 맞아. 다음부터는 옷이나 신발은 가게에서 직접 보고 사는 게 좋겠어. 맞아. 인터넷 쇼핑을 하면 몸이 편하지만 직접 보고 입어볼 수 없어서 안 좋은 것 같아. Forgot to put up this sign. So I'll read it one more time, guys. I'll read it one more time. I'll read the dialogue one more time. Namja says, 지난주에 인터넷으로 산 신발을 환불하려고 왜 색깔이 예뻐서 보고 바로 사지 않았어? 컴퓨터로 봤을 때는 예뻤는데 직접 보니까 신발 색깔이 너무 다르더라고. 그리고 신발 가격이 싸서 좋았는데 신어보니까 튼튼하지 않아. 아, 그럼 환불해야겠네. 맞아. 다음부터는 옷이나 신발은 가게에서 직접 보고 사는 게 좋겠어. 맞아. 인터넷 쇼핑을 하면 몸이 편하지만 직접 보고 입어볼 수 없어서 안 좋은 것 같아. 오케이, 보겠습니다. 일단은 테사님 says number three and seven number four. Perfect. 네, perfect answer. 맞아요. 맞습니다. For number six, they are talking about 인터넷 쇼핑의 문제점, the problem with internet shopping. And seven, uh, seven their uh, 남자 doesn't like the color of the shoes he bought. Mm. So it is number four. Right, so let's move on to the script, guys. Script 분석을 한번 해보겠습니다. Let's break down the script. So 남자 starts. I'm just says, 지난주, 지난주 or 저번주 mean the same thing. Last week, 
time marker. So, 지난주에, last week, 인터넷으로 산 신발. So, basically, 신발 that I bought using the internet. So, 신발 that I bought online, shoes that I bought online을 환불하려고. 음, 하려고. So, here, 려고. This expression, you can just say 려고 alone, or you can also add 려고. Hey, 려고 해 or 려고. And it would mean I'm going to, like I'm planning to. So I'm planning to uh, get a refund for the shoes that I bought online last week. 지난주에 인터넷으로 산 신발을 환불하려고. And 여자 says, 왜, why? 색깔이 예뻐서, 색깔, color, 예뻐서. Oh, 색깔 was pretty, so... 보고, you saw it, and then 바로, right away, 사다, bought it. Didn't you? 음, 사지 않았어? Didn't you buy it right away after seeing it? Because the color was pretty. 왜? 색깔이 예뻐서 보고 바로 사지 않았어? And then 남자 says, 아, 컴퓨터로 봤을 때는 어때? When you did verb, 을 때, 을 때. When I saw it with computer, when I saw it on the computer, oh, 예뻤는데, oh, it was pretty, it was pretty. But 직접 보니까, 직접 보니까, now that I see it, 직접, directly, meaning like in person. You have your shoes right in front of your eyes now, now that it's delivered, right? So he used 직접. 직접 보니까, 신발 색깔이, the shoe color, 너무 too, different, 다르다, 다르다, means to be different, and 더라고, this is a sentence ending, basically you can think of 더라고 as 네, 네, sentence endings, past version, past version. So 네 is about your immediate reaction to, re current immediate reaction, right? Immediate reaction to what you heard now in this moment, but 더라고, is the reaction that you got or what you realized in the past. So, 신발이 너무 다르더라고. I saw that. I realized that. I saw that the color was too different. 그리고, and, 그리고, 신발 가격, shoe price, 싸서, it was cheap. So, 좋았는데, oh, so I liked it. It was cheap, so I liked it, but... 신어 보니까 신다 means to wear shoes. 신어 보다 means to try on. Uh, try it on. So 신어 보니까 uh, after trying it on, 튼튼하지 않아. 튼튼하지 않아. 튼튼하다 means to be sturdy, strong, sturdy, strong. But it's not sturdy. It's very weak. So um, I thought it would be good because the price is cheap. But uh. It wasn't sturdy. The quality was bad. So Yoda says, Ah, 그럼 환불해야겠네. 뭐뭐야겠네. You had better. You had better. 환불하다. Verb 아어야겠다. Verb 아어야겠다. This time it's combined with 네 because it's her immediate reaction. So verb 아오야겠네. Oh, you had better verb or I had better verb. So, oh, okay. So you had better get a refund for it. And 남자 says, 맞아. That's right. That's right. 다음 next 부터 from. So from next time. From next time. 다음부터는 옷이나 clothes or 신발 shoes는 가게에서 at the store. 직접 in person 보다. I will see it in person and then buy it. 는게 좋겠어. It would be 겠어. It will be good to buy it after seeing it directly. 직접 보고 사는 게 좋겠어. And 여자 says, 맞아. You're right. That's right. 인터넷 쇼핑을 하면, if you do, if you do, internet shopping, 인터넷 쇼핑을 하면, if you do it, 몸이 편하지만, 몸, your body, 편하다, is comfortable. 몸이 편하지만, your body is comfortable, but, 지만, 몸이 편하지만, 직접, in person, 보고, 
see it in person and 입어보다 so 입다 means to wear 입어보다 means to try it on so you cannot see it and try it on you 을수 없다 을수 없다 you cannot you cannot so 아, 안 좋은 것 같아 은것 같아 I don't think is 좋다 안 좋은 것 같아 I don't think it's good so definitely they're not talking about the price of things they're not talking about 방법 method of getting refund getting a refund how to get a refund no they're rather talking about the problems with online shopping internet shopping internet shopping online shopping the problem and internet 물건의 좋은 점 internet items good things internet items good things that is not the main topic of their dialogue so this is also not the answer and for the next one select what is correct 여자는 인터넷으로 신발을 샀습니다 she bought shoes on the internet it's not 여자 that bought it right it was 남자 right namja was complaining about the low quality of the shoes he bought so 남자 그래서 틀렸고 그 다음에 남자는 가게에 가서 신발을 환불할 겁니다. 여러분, why is this incorrect, guys? 남자는 가게에 가서 신발을 환불할 겁니다. Why would this be incorrect? 여러분, 왜 incorrect 할까요? I guess this is all about uh, he bought online. But it's as simple as this. He bought it online so he can get a refund online. Mm. 그래서 이거 이거. So that's why. Mm. So that's why this is wrong. And 여자는 주로 usually 직접 신발을 신어본대요. She tried to shoes on directly in person but she never really mentioned that. She just said that that's a good thing to do, but she never really mentioned that that's what she usually does. So, 그렇기 때문이고, 그 다음에 마지막, the last one. 남자는 싼 신발의 색깔, the color of the shoes he 사다, he bought, 마음에 들지 않습니다. He didn't like it. He doesn't like it. That is correct, right? He said it looks better on computer, on the internet, but when actually see it in real life, when he actually saw it in real life, uh, he said it's different. 다르다. 다르다. 신발 색깔이 너무 다르더라고. 다르더라고. Okay, guys. 그러면 오늘은 여기까지 할게요. So, um, I think we can end the class here and I will open a new live session probably next week, hopefully next week for intermediate uh, listening practice. Mm. So uh, yeah, I will make sure to bring more, much more longer and practical uh, dialogues that we could uh, practice listening and hopefully speaking practice with. Okay, so. Mm. <sighs> okay, I will end the class here, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I really had fun. I had so much fun. And as for this class material, I'm thinking how I could share this. Would you like me to just share this raw, share this note raw? Mm, I'll think of the most effective one, uh, and the most efficient one, and uh, share the link uh, when it's ready, when the material is ready. And uh, thank you guys, thank you so much. Mm. And thank you. Uh, Billy Anna, 님 너무 감사합니다. 좋은 밤 보내세요. 네, Billy Anna 님도 편한 밤 보내세요. I think in Australia it's 9:53, right? It's really late there, but thank you for joining. 그리고 oh, I think I missed some. 쓰셨습니다. 감사합니다, 오웬 님. 수업 가르쳐 주셔서 감사합니다. Uh, Blip Blop 님, thank you for coming. Oh, ah, we need ah, we Jin 님, thank you. Trayvon 님, thank you. Talia Nim, you are joining my live class. You're joining every single one of my live class, right? I'm so like happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. You make me so happy. Thank you. Chad Nim, I'm looking forward to the next live class. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing you too on my next live class. Thank you again, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 사랑해. Okay, share it like this. Okay, I'll I'll I think I'll think about it. I'll think about sharing 
the raw note, mm, the rough note. Okay, 감사합니다, 여러분. 아, 호주 지금 어, 거의 열시 되는 거 맞죠? Okay, so I let you guys go. Mm, you guys can leave now. Thank you so much for joining. And yeah, oh, 다음 시간에 또 봐요. I, I'll see you in my next live class, guys. 사랑해요. I love you guys. Bye bye. Have a great night or evening or morning or midnight, wherever you are. Mm, have a great uh, weekend as well and a great new week ahead, a wonderful new week ahead. And see you soon. Bye bye. 여러분 안녕.